Well, the first bike tour to ever visit Bemidji is traveling on after only making a quick stop here for lunch today. The group began its trip at Itasca State Park and will be traveling to Fort Snelling in St. Paul. Our Lacey Montelion caught up with them. When most people think of tourism, they may not think of biking as a way to do it, something that Russ Lothian plans to change. Well, the whole reason I started this, uh, uh, this ride was I wanted to prove a point that bus bike uh, tourism really works well. The bikers here today were only able to stop for a short time and eat lunch. But even though a little rest and relaxation may not be a part of this form of tourism, the bikers here today seem not to mind. So far it's great. I love the flowers. I've seen a lot of lady slippers and um, Trillium. This tour involves about six days of riding and around 350 miles. Although it's open to any age group, Lothian says it's important to be prepared. I'm always uh, recommending people start with going out and doing a 12 mile ride the first time and, and gradually building up to 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles so they feel comfortable doing a 60 to 80 mile ride a day. But besides the long trip, bikers here have to deal with with other obstacles as well. There's a lot of biking trips where you camp, but then you're at the mercy of the weather. Bikers say one of the best things about today is that they're staying in hotels so they don't have to worry about sleeping in the rain. But as you can see from days like today, sometimes they get wet anyway. At least we know we have a warm bed at night. Besides the benefit to the bikers, Mayor David Larson says this is helpful to the community as well. Certainly a benefit for the city to have uh, tourists come and uh, very likely they'll come back because it is a beautiful area and we're very proud of it. And with more bike groups scheduled to visit Bemidji this year, that may well be the case. Lacey Montellium, Lakeland News. This week, the League of American Bicyclists ranked Minnesota as the second most bike-friendly state in the nation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.